happy sunday guys so i'm in the closet because music is being played in the living room and i don't want to get copywritten um but i just wanted to check in i am still here in myrtle beach uh we're doing a little cleanup today so um i just got done vacuuming um we are gonna be doing some sunday dinner so i'm actually about to go season up my chicken now um i was just waiting for it to defrost but yeah i just wanted to do an intro to this part of the video because i haven't really checked in with you guys in a couple days so we're about to head to the kitchen so we can start uh seasoning up our meat for dinner later okay guys so as you saw in the previous clip um i was seasoning my leg quarters with my maggie all-purpose and my chicken seasoning um prior to this i did wash my meat make sure it was all clean and cut all the extra fat and stuff off um i am going in here with my browning and jerk seasoning typically i would let my meat soak overnight um but i didn't do this this was just a last minute okay this is what i'm gonna cook for the day um let me get it seasoned up but you know what i'm cooking it so we ain't gotta worry because it's still gonna taste good anyways even if i don't let it soak overnight so you guys just enjoy me seasoning up the meat and prepping and i'll check back in with you when i want to update you on what i'm doing next for uh sunday dinner prep
okay guys so as you saw my chicken is seasoned up it is soaking um when i'm ready to put it in the oven you guys are gonna put it in the oven at 375 let it bake for an hour uncovered and then once it's baked for an hour uncovered you're gonna remove it add whatever sauce of your choice what i did was the juices that came off of the chicken i got a spoon and i poured it over the chicken to just give that chicken that extra flavor and make it juicy and i added a little barbecue sauce i covered it back up with some foil put it in the oven for tw another 25 minutes and let it cook until it was soft right now we as you see we are preparing the rice and peas so so far what i've added to the pot is a can of coconut milk a can of pigeon peas my scotch bonnet pepper my scallion my ground pimento my chicken bouillon um, my thyme you know we just adding a whole bunch of flavor to the pot so and i'm also adding my Kerrygold's garlic and herb butter and uh some uh chicken bou bouillon sorry about that guys but yes as i was saying i added my chicken bouillon and my Kerrygold's garlic and herb butter so and then i also added two cups of water so we're gonna get the pot going we're gonna get all of um the seasoning and stuff in the coconut milk to a boil and in the meantime i'm gonna wash my rice so we can get the rice ready for when the pot comes to a boil once a pot comes to a boil what you will do is um add the rice in stir stir everything together i usually put some foil paper down and cover it with a lid and i'll let it um, cook on low heat for 20 minutes and it's going to give you nice fluffy buttery rice and not to mention flavorful especially with all of the stuff that we added to the pot so anyways back to the prep you guys enjoy this montage or this <laughs> this um uh, i don't know y'all get the point enjoy the music i should say So as you can see, we're jumping into our simple salad. We have some shredded carrots, cabbage, bell red bell pepper. Um, we're going to season it up with some white vinegar, some water, some sugar, some salt and pepper. And voila, we have the finished product. It was delicious. It's one of my favorite salads to eat. So yeah, if you're Jamaican, you know what's up. Oh my gosh, y'all, look at the food. Like I put my whole heart and soul and foot into this. You hear me? It was so good, and just watching this clip back is making my mouth water. You hear me? Listen. Listen. Listen, y'all. Y'all have to try this recipe, okay? Make sure y'all cook it at home, because it was definitely flavor-packed, okay?